They were like, look, we're sorry, we're gonna have to let you go. Happened um, so fast for me. She just told me, Daddy, you gotta do something. Take you to this place, Cass, because you got no place to stay. You can't live on the street. I got so many medical things wrong with me that I would die living on the street. There are a lot of people in our community that are in chaos. Ending homelessness in Phoenix has been at the heart of Cass's work for over 25 years. Cass serves nearly 1,000 men, women, and children each and every night. But just who are the homeless? The homeless comprise a lot of groups, a lot of single moms with children, a growing number of elderly, very disconcerting growth in people 18 to 25. We're seeing a lot of disabled. We're seeing a lot of veterans. I've made two good decisions in my life. One was joining the Marine Corps, and one was coming to CAS. CAS provides a clean, safe environment for individuals and families experiencing homelessness. Staff works with the clients to first alleviate their crisis and meet their basic needs of shelter, clothing, and food. Upon intake, each client works with a case manager. The case manager will ask the client a series of questions, and then based on those questions, a case plan is developed, and those are goals that the client needs to work on while they're staying at CAS. We refer them out for substance abuse, mental health, uh, we give them employment referrals, uh, health, dental, pretty much everything that they could possibly need to end their homelessness. Gilbert is a vet who's gone from drinking and homelessness to sobriety and self-sufficiency. For me, taking the shower and having the bed really wasn't the issue, because what am I going to do with my life? I'm a 40-year alcoholic. Uh, it's pretty bad. Uh, drink whiskey all day long, beer all day long. Been in the hospital uncountless times. I have all kinds of medical things wrong with me now. And uh, matter of fact, I got out of the hospital the day before I came here. My daughter picked me up in St. Luke's, Phoenix and drop me off out there on the sidewalk. We're working very closely with the Veterans Administration and certainly with the local VA hospital. They're great partners, um, and, and I think over time we've seen that these partnerships really are allowing us to, to accomplish uh, certain things with, our, with those that we serve that we weren't able to do before. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm clean and sober now. I have direction, and I'm good to go now, I think, as long as I stay sober which is the tough part um, for the rest of my time, I guess. The veterans that we serve are very anxious to move on. They don't want to be here. People who suffer from mental illness or drug addiction may find it difficult to seek help. Through outreach, CAS takes its mission to the streets. What outreach can offer is that we can get the homeless involved in um, services, we can bring them back to campus, let them know that we can give them shelter, food, clothing. We can give them a place to feel safe. We can get them engaged with a case manager. We can get them a case plan developed that will sit there and direct them into becoming self-sufficient, get them housing, and get them able to be on their own. We had the choice of either stay on the streets or go and live at Cass. I didn't have no money in my pocket. She didn't have none in hers. Having a kid on the way and having to figure out how I'm going to support her, not having a job. Younger people, I think, deserve to be on more of a career path than just a job. So uh, we do have a relationship with Paradise Bakery that offers younger people a career path. I got hired on the spot, um, started working two days later. And I've been working there ever since. He got the job, he's working with Paradise Bakery, and he's on a career path. He's already had two promotions. Mike's success story is one that is repeated daily thanks to the programs offered by CAS Employment Services. We teach classes a couple of times a week, they're two hour classes, at which time we really talk about positive reinforcement, we talk about self-esteem, we talk about how to write a resume, how to fill out an application, all of them how to dress, um, make sure they have passes to get haircuts. Everything that you'd need to look good to compete with other people looking for work. Some of the people here at the shelter do have degrees. Some of the people don't have criminal records. Some of them have just made bad decisions, financial decisions. They lost their job due to something out of their control. We have scientists, finance managers, IT techs. They're all here. 
I have a, a bachelor's degree in engineering and an MBA in business. And I've kind of had a stereotype in my mind about, you know, persons who uh, um, was homeless. I would say that Michael is the new poster child for homelessness. There are a lot of families that are currently going through a very similar situation to where they never expected to be in a homeless shelter. And they're having to reach out to a community or to a resource that they never expected to reach out to. It's a scary moment. I thought because of my background in engineering, that I could just immediately, okay, no problem, I can go out and I can get another job, but things have changed. Mike and his family, like Fawn and Mike, found respite at Vista Kalina Family Shelter, including on-site food and clothing banks, a nationally accredited developmental child care program for preschool aged children is also located at Vista Colina. I am on a mission and I got 90 days to get the job done. Michael is an example because even though that's not what he wanted to do, he, he had to do that. He had to reach out to Vista Colina for his family's sake. And because of it, he is now currently very self-sufficient and independent. You know, I'm an evangelist for a uh, uh, cast now, and if it's anything I can do, anybody I can talk to, anything, everyone can do, then I'll do it because I believe in the system. Cass's approach to empower the homeless with a plan to move forward has helped clients to secure the resources to become self-sufficient and re-enter society. Last year, Central Arizona Shelter Services empowered nearly 10,000 individuals to rebuild their lives and end their homelessness. But restoring dignity and purpose doesn't come cheap. Government cuts have only heightened the need for compassionate partners and caring donors. Businesses should partner with CAS because our residents are your clients and your customers. So not only are you helping the community to reestablish homes, but you're also helping the individual to reestablish their lives. And basically, you're getting a return on your investment because guess what? That chip you make in that computer, that customer will buy it. And that customer may have been a client of CAS. People need CAS. People need not only shelter, but also a program and a support system. And the more people we get to the table, the easier that this, this burden's going to be. That it, 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 it comes down to the donors, and it comes down, you know, to the dollar bill. It comes down to that. We'd just like to say thank you to everyone that's ever been involved with us, that's ever helped us. There's no happier feeling knowing that you're able to take care of yourself. And there's nothing wrong with saying thank you to anybody that helped you. Thank you all very much. I don't know the particular donors, their names, or who they are by name, but I want to thank you. I don't know the names, but I want to thank you. I got two and three and four-year-old kids. What you did when you helped us, what you did was, that was everything. People who believe in other people, those are the people that, 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 that we as human beings rely on. I could have never done it if this place didn't exist. So no cast is what did it. I just want to be steady on my feet. Whatever he needs, I want him to be able to have. Cast has moved my life forward. Cast moved me forward. Please join us in moving lives forward today.